Yeah, I'm down here in Solo, and I'm going to do a little tour through the store here. I want everybody to see how this line here is going. They are not paying attention to this coronavirus. This coronavirus is out here, and it's still getting people, and they still don't realize that this coronavirus is back for a second time. And the president told us the other day, he stopped all testing. You know why he stopped all testing? It's because for the simple reason he is still in the money now. See, Donald Trump is a slick mobster. And then he fired the gentleman that was investigating Rudy Giuliani. Do you all remember back in the days when Giuliani was a, a attorney general? When he arrested all of the mob bosses? He did not arrest Donald Trump because Donald Trump is the leader of the mafia. Now Donald Trump is the leader of the United States. Donald Trump is killing America. So what I'm showing y'all right now today is that Donald Trump, yeah, everybody said, who you gonna vote for? I don't give a damn who's president. We all gonna be uh, still trapped into the system. And Biden is the man that wrote the bill three strikes you're out okay so I want everybody to understand this here that if Biden come in you going back to three strikes you go to jail for life and if Donald Trump Trump stay in they gonna hang all black people and do you know something else too black lives matter you wasn't the one who created black lives matter it was a white man you guys out there protesting on the line and black lives matter you making money for the white man. You better study your history. Okay, I'm down here at Solo, the highest store in town. They don't raise the price on everything. Okay, they don't give a damn about us. It used to be a dollar store. It's no dollar store anymore. It's pay as I tell you to pay. Okay. WWWOT on time, live on the sleeve red tablecloth down here in this high-ass Solo store. Yeah. Solo is the highest store in Central Islip. Why are we still supporting this store? Because they're the only store in town that can rip us off. That's the only store in town that can rip us off. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't taking no picture. I'm going to take my picture while y'all taking my picture. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to take y'all picture while y'all taking my picture. No pictures. No pictures. No. If, if y'all can take my picture, I can take my picture. Yeah, they're afraid of me. I speak the truth. Any man in America that don't speak the truth, you're a slave. This guy? Yeah, he's talking to You know this guy? I don't know. He don't know what he but he know what I'm talking about. He know the truth. <laughs> yeah, he know me. <laughs> Otis Lee telling YouTube. You Yeah, it is. That yes my friend. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this way then. Yeah. At least somebody's listening. Donald Trump is killing the world. I still am elected to everybody. Y'all don't know behind this mask, I'm a Muslim too, do you? You know. Tell me how much I owe you. Take one. Mike, take one of those back. Take one of the napkins back. Thank you. Hold up, how much? No, take one of the napkins back. Take a napkin back. Give me more or less? That's good, thank you. So you need bag? No, take one napkin back. Yeah, now tell me my total. Yeah, how much? <laughs> Only want one How you napkin. Doing? How you doing, man? 518. 518? I'm going to come back with another quarter. Take it, I'm going to come back with a quarter.
Hey, brother, give me 15 cents so I go to the car. Yes, 15 cents. And I'll come back and get it. Yeah, just like I said, I'm down here solo and Donald Trump. How much is a bag? So give me five cents. Now you got 15 cents. Yeah, like I said again, Donald Trump killing the world. I hope everybody know. Sorry, brother, for recording you in the store. <laughs> you, you are the best man in this neighborhood. You're not a part of this propaganda stuff. <laughs> yes, you're not part of this propaganda. You, I'll see you later. Okay. You'll see me later. I want you guys to look at something. Look out here and look at this, these, this parking lot. Look at this parking lot. People still don't realize that this coronavirus is out here heavy. But we have to shop. Shout out to Stay Fade Barbershop in Central Islip on Suffolk Avenue. Sleepy! Yeah, I'm going down here and I'm going to give. I'm going to give some clothes to Brian and I'm going to give some clothes to Verdell. Okay? Yeah. You know, it's amazing how people be on solo. Solo. Who spray painted Frank Liquor Store? Who spray painted Frank Liquor Store? Who spray painted Frank Liquor Store? What gang signs is those? Who spray painted Frank Wine and Liquor Store? Yeah, the coronavirus is out here. If y'all want to tell some shit, tell this racist store right here. C-Town Supermarket is a racist store. It's very racist. You want to tear up something or burn up something, burn up that motherfucker. I like to know why is it that the town haven't came and shut them down for have mold, black mold coming out the ceiling and black mold coming out of the fish department where the fish department set the fish on the table. Why they are not burning down this fucking store? Why the state is not sanctioning this store? Yeah, C-Town Supermarket is a racist motherfucking store. Yeah. Especially that female manager. Yeah, she like to go through your shopping carts like some little bitch. Yeah, I call you a bitch. The manager of C-Town store. She's a racist woman. WWWOT on time. Live. Fuck C-Town Supermarket in Central Islip.